Hello there. Three, Welcome two, to one, a Warfork Duel. Here we're going, going to have me. Apocrypha versus Lugia on WFDM5. So going in straight away with a good fight and Lugia is going to get the first kill. Quite a quick kill. Very fast off the back. The items don't spawn until 15 seconds in this game, so the players are going to be looking for them about now. And you can see Apocrypha is going to go for that mega health. Gets it, gets railed. It's still there. Still not been taken. So 8 seconds. Lugia is just going to wait. 5 seconds left on this red. And Lugia is actually going to go straight down for that. And Apocrypha is going to pick it up. That's pretty good. Puts Apocrypha in a very good position. Goes pick up a second frag. Capitalised right on that. Has the timing very nicely on that yellow armour. Now, the Mega Health Respawn has started. It's got 10 seconds left. Both items are at the same time now, both major items. That's a rare thing that happens in this game because of the way that the game does Mega armor t mega Health timing, in fact. Uh, it's 20 seconds after the person who picked it up go below 100 health. Or hits exactly 100 health. So, it's still not coming up and now the timer starts. Now Lugia has done that. Tying up the game. Quite low, going to get railed out there. Pretty nicely played there from Apocrypha, figuring out that Lugia was going to be around that corner. Figuring out where Lugia was going to go, manages to pick up the red armour now. That's a pretty good, that's a very good conversion straight off of that frag. Moving around the map now, Lugia is going to come in, starts firing a lot of spam. Who picked that up? I'm not quite sure. Apocrypha must have picked it up being over health and it's not respawning yet. So that was a very good fight for Apocrypha, for managing to get the kill and managing to pick up that health. But gets railed by Lugia. Very, very nice shot right there. And Lugia plays it nicely off the wall. Not the nicest bounce, but the Lugia is an extremely good CPMA player. I'm sure has played Warso before, but Apocrypha has been playing a lot recently and seems to be an extremely good player who has proper Warso and Warfork experience whereas Lugia is just a hell of a CPM player but it's a very very good game this I did watch it live and it is an extremely good game so Apocrypha now playing it careful pushing it a little bit but not too much this game extremely fast these players both very very quick players they should be able to make their way around the map very quickly. Playing it careful here. Not wanting to go too fast in. Knowing the timing. Definitely timing that item right there. You can tell. You can tell the drop down with one second left. And Lugia knows exactly what the timing is. And then just listening for that time. Listening for when to go in. Knowing Apocrypha is not there. I think Apocrypha thinks it's up right now. Ten seconds away. The Mega Health is going to be on the respawn. And now if Lugia can pick up... Apocrypha is going to get this yellow armour. She's going to put him in a good position. He's now going off. He's going to pick up that red. Or he should do. He gets the red indeed. Three seconds on the Mega Health right now. Apocrypha going to have to pick up that Mega. He gets it. Going to get spammed a bit. But not enough to lose that Mega Health. Still got it actually. Just watching that countdown timer. So the score being 5-5, five to five, we've got 6 and a bit minutes left. These guys are extremely closely matched. It's a brilliant game this so far. Great aim, Lugia really getting into it now. Lugia just came off of a game with me before playing this game, where he absolutely destroyed me. So his aim was definitely warmed up, but his map control and map sense might not have been the greatest. Especially since I don't he only joined the... Discord server about two minutes before playing me. So, this is all just sort of feel and bringing it over from other gamers for Lugia right now. But ammo management is something serious in this game. You'll see the players running out of ammo a lot of the time. The weapons you pick up don't give you a lot, but you can pick them up up to the maximum. And they don't deplete at all. So you pick up a rocket launcher for five. The next rocket launcher will also give you five rockets. However... Um, Lugia, you see, doesn't even know the timing on the armors. It, pro it didn't 
hinder anything. I don't play with item timers at all. And you can see, they're almost about to run out of ammo there on that lightning gun. That's not something that happens in a lot of games. The only sort of games that you see it happening is like Doombringer, which you don't pick up very much ammo. The ammo packs are the big thing. The ammo packs always give double the amount that the weapon gives. So, some of them, it will, an ammo pack for a lightning gun, and the lightning gun itself will put you on a maximum 150. However, you can get 20 for a rocket launcher. So you see, it's important that people pick up these weapons when they're going around this map. It's important that the weapons get picked up. Because they are extremely good for ammo and you need to manage your ammo. Both these players are doing an extremely good job but you do sometimes get caught out in the middle of a fight and you see that last little bit, I think it's a third or a sixth or something, when you get down to that in your ammo it pops up on your screen in the HUD and you can see. I'm not quite sure why it's not using the spectator HUD actually while I'm watching this demo but there you go. Uh, should be using that. We'll change it for the next game. This HUD, if anyone is interested, is the Adam HUD. It's a really good HUD. So three and a half minutes left. Lugia is in control of the map. But Apocrypha has picked up that health and Lugia has very little health. There's not a lot of big healths on this map. I don't think there's a 50 health, actually. Which is a very interesting thing for a game like this, to not have a 50 health on this map. But there's a few 25s dotted around the place, and Lugia knows where they are. Gonna just sweep past, doesn't want to go. There is rail ammo up there, but he's absolutely maxed out. It's a very interesting bit of rail ammo, that. And the rail is an extremely important gun. It's a useful gun on this map. It's not your sort of main gun. It's not the gun you're doing the most of your damage with. It's a finishing weapon on this map because there's just long corridors. You fight in close quarters and then they es you escape through a teleporter through other places. And the railgun is more of a finishing weapon, whereas a lot of places it's a starting weapon then you go in and you finish with the LG. Especially in a game like this, the LG has an extremely long beam. It is a long shafted game, this. It's... I didn't realise quite how long it was until I was playing Amphi yesterday and realised I could just hit basically across the entire Amphi map. And there we go, Apocrypha tying it up. I don't think I've been swapping over to the right people for a little while, but that's okay. You see, rockets. Only got one rocket left. Got no lightning gun left after picking up that frag. Needs to pick up some rockets. There's rockets over in that corner, but doesn't want to go back towards Lugia. Going to lose the rockets. Needs to pick them up, though. But not going to go towards the rockets. Going around the other side. Now making their way over with rocket pickup in the middle of a fight. That's a hell of a place. There's a lot of fights go down in that little area just down there because it's a place a lot of so you can get to a lot of places from it, especially the red. And you can ro rotate back round, get to the mega health, get to a lot of places from that little bit, and there's a lot of ammo around it. And it's just a drop down point. So if you see someone, people drop down. There's a lot of fights going on. So being able to pick up that rocket launcher in the middle of a fight without taking too much damage is a good skill. So the green is up. There's not a lot. Five seconds until the mega health. Uh, mega armor, sorry. The red. And the mega health has just been taken. There's the red. Goes to Apocrypha. But Lugia manages to get the kill. Completely denying the existence of that red for the next 20 seconds. But Lugia has very little health here. Needs to get away. Needs to circle around the map. Gets a nice shot in if that would hit. That was absolutely beautiful from Lugia. He's on three health and he gets gun bladed. Oh no, he gets riot gunned. Sorry. Go over to Apocrypha who's running out of ammo. Runs out of ammo and starts spamming with the plasma gun. The plasma gun takes down 
Lugia with 17 seconds left to go. Apocrypha could tie this up. 15 seconds. He's got four health. He goes over. Lugia's just running away. Gets an amazing rail shot. Will Apocrypha be able to tie it up? Seven seconds left. Lugia gets the kill and it's over. Lugia will take this one. Three seconds left and there it is. GG. Lugia beats Apocrypha 11-9. An amazing game.